So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use WordPress, which is a really good content management system for building a, a, a semi-professional to professional website. Uh, whether it's for personal use or a business, it's a very good open source tool to use, and I highly recommend it. So once you set it up in your computer, which I'm going to have a video, another video showing how to do all that, um, this is the screen you're going to be presented with. It's called the dashboard. And the dashboard is a main administration screen for your site. And it basically summarizes, gives you an overview of your site and what's going on. So if you see uh, down here, you got comments. And we're going to be going through a lot of the, the tools that you'll be using when you create your, your website. And so, first of all, just to show you how you can access your website, if you go up to this top black bar at the top here, you can see it says Austin's Cool Site. That's just the sample site that I'm going to be using for this tutorial. But you can hover over it and click Visit Site. And I'm going to open that in a new window. And you're going to see the default website that's created when you install WordPress. All I did was punch in the title when I was installing WordPress. And then the rest of this, this uh, the WordPress application or the WordPress um, installation uh, supplied. First thing I like to do is if you go, if you hover down to appearance in the dashboard screen and go over to themes, we can select a theme for the website. And you can think of a theme as a collection of files that work together to produce a graphical front end interface with an underlying unifying design for a site. So it's an overall template for your site which makes web design much much easier without having to know that back end coding that's going on underneath. Once you open up themes, you can go ahead and it looks like they have 3 here that you can choose from one of the ones is already installed so it's that white one we were just looking at click add new theme and once you do that you can look and there's all kinds of different themes that you can you can install to your website add to your website and I'm gonna click on popular here and see what they got so these are the most popular themes that people use and I'm just gonna pick one for the, the sample website that we're going to be making. Um, I kind of like this one. It looks nice. It's called Virtue. So I'm just going to go over to it and I'm going to click Install. And what it's going to do is download the theme package. And once that's downloaded, I'm going to activate it as my main theme. And the theme is going to be, it's going to pretty much take over the entire look of the site. And so we'll still be dealing with the same content but how that content is displayed is determined by the theme that we're going to be using. Let's go ahead and activate the theme that we downloaded and we're going to see it's going to totally change the look of this site. So once you install and activate the theme that you've selected you can go ahead and check your site and as you can see here it looks a lot different. The look of it is in my opinion much better that looks nice and so anyway this is just one example of a theme and so you, you can you can choose the entire look of your site by picking a theme that you want so let's go back to the dashboard to actually change the content of your site you're gonna wanna go to the dashboard and so you're gonna notice right off the bat that you have pages and posts and often this is confused um, a good example of a page is information you would place on an about page okay so it's static information and a page should not be confused with the time oriented objects called posts mainly what we're going to be dealing with in our tutorial tutorial here is pages so i'm just going to go ahead and click on all pages here and you can see they have a sample page available so i'm going to go ahead and click on this and we're going to create our own page, but <clears throat> I just want to see what the sample page says here. And so it says, this is an example page. It's different from a blog post. And it, so they got a, a little, they got some sample text here. But this is the sample page. And let's go ahead and let's go back to the main menu. Uh, let's see. And let's go ahead and add a new page. So I'm going to click 
add new on the pages screen here and let's just go let's just type Austin's cool um, page alright and then I'm just gonna write page text down here okay so this is how you would add text to a page add a title and there's much more you can do you can add images but I'm just giving you the basics here so I'm gonna go ahead and hit publish and I'm gonna have a page that I can have available on a what on on the website that we're creating here. Um, let's go back to the dashboard. And so, if you want to change how change the different elements of your website within the dashboard, you're going to go over to Appearance and click Customize. Okay, and once you're on Customize, you can really start customizing your site. Go figure. You can see we got all these different options here. Uh, you got the the styling of the site, you got settings of the pages that you add, and the menu settings. Now this is an important aspect of your web of your website. So we're gonna go ahead and let's click on menus and let's look at this. So we're gonna want to add a menu. And I'll just call it Austin's menu. Hit create menu. And then we can fully customize how this menu is going to look. So let's go ahead, once you create it, just click Add Items. And let's go ahead and click on Page. And let's add my cool page that I created before. And let's even, let's add the sample page just to show you how it works. Okay, so I, I have a menu with some items on it. Let's go ahead and save and publish that. Under the menu screen, you're going to go ahead and click on Menu Locations. And let's go ahead and switch the primary navigation to Austin's it looks like it's got some weird code here but Austin's menu and what that's gonna do is add the menu to the site so I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and publish and if you look now you can see on the side it says Austin's cool page and sample page so you can see these are the two let me refresh this this is the site itself you can see we got the two menu pages that we added. And so that's nice. We got the um, the two menu options. So if I click on Austin's cool page, it'll bring me to that page I, cre I created before. You can see this is where I wrote page text. And what's cool about WordPress is since this this top bar never leaves while you're editing the site while you're logged in as an administrator to your WordPress site you always have this black bar running across the top so if for example I go to a page like I just did I can go ahead and on this black bar just click edit page once you click on edit page you have um, the ability to change the page that we added before so let's let's change it from page text to this is my cool page that has information I would like to share to you okay I'm gonna go ahead and update that and I can click on view page and you can see how it updates the info so it's just a nice way of navigating around um, your website and editing on the go which is nice. So you can really create some good content in a quick way when you're working with WordPress. And so let's go back to the dashboard. And widgets. Now widgets are going to be tools or content that you can add, arrange, and remove from the sidebars of your website. I'll go ahead and click it just to show you. But they have all kinds of different things. So if you wanted to add a calendar on the side of your website, you could do that. Um, and there's all sorts of different plugins that you can install. So if you go to the um, the plugins link here and click Add New, you can actually download some new widgets and plugins that will add features to your website. So, for example, if I wanted to add some sort of booking feature to the business that I was running, I'd go ahead and type in booking into the search bar here and let's see what shows up 
and you can see right here it says booking calendar so I'm gonna go ahead and click install now and it's gonna just like we downloaded and installed the theme before it's gonna download and install this plugin which is a booking calendar for our site so it's nice and easy it just takes a second to download it once you start installing plugins to your site you're gonna see different options depending on the, the the plugins that you install so the the, the add-ons or plugins that you that you add to the add to your site are gonna show up in the sidebar here giving you more options and so there's all kinds of different ones you can download which is a re really nice feature so okay so once it's downloaded I'm gonna go ahead and activate the plugin and once that's activated we can go ahead and put that booking calendar into our site and so you can see it's got a little overview of the plugin that we just downloaded and let's go ahead and let's go back to appearance and click on widgets and I imagine the booking calendar is available as one of the options now because we downloaded and activated it so as you can see right here booking calendar let's go ahead and drag this we'll drag it to the footer of our website um, let's see if it shows up there so <clears throat> I dragged it over here I'm gonna call it Austin's booking calendar and go ahead and hit save alright so to add the booking calendar let's go ahead and customize our theme a little bit so that we can get it to show I'm gonna click on customize we want to add a sidebar to the home screen so what we're gonna go ahead and do is click on home layout and click on you can see that there's a little question here it says display a sidebar on the home page and we're gonna switch the option to essentially we're switching it to yes we do want a sidebar and so I'm gonna click on this little square here and this is all specifically arranged according to the theme that we picked so it's it's each theme has a different set of options that you can customize and you can see I clicked on the sidebar and now we can see our booking calendar that we added before right here on the side so just to show you I'm gonna save and publish and once that saves we're gonna go ahead and I'll refresh the site here and we'll have a nice sidebar with the booking calendar that we added and so if you're running a business say and you want clients to be able to you know book an appointment depending on the day they'd like to they can click on a day and put their name and contact information in and hit send and then you as the admi administrator would get an email you can see when we downloaded that booking calendar widget we got this new booking option at the bottom here so we can change the settings down here by clicking settings and we have we have all the different information that we can edit for this booking system. That's how you create a you know a very very basic website. You can see it's it's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but I just wanted to show you some of the basic features. You know, creating a page, installing a theme, installing a plugin, uh, some of the things that'll get you up and running with making a website. And WordPress is a great way to create a very professional looking website and I highly recommend using it and like I said before I'll be putting out another video for how to install and run WordPress on your computer in the future